All right, let's see here. We've got, yep, some obscure fishing game. This is Ampillion, and let's play, well, briefly play uh, Kashiwagi Shigata no Topwater Basin. Yeah, it's exciting, I know. But uh, let's see here. We've got crazy Japanese face laughing at us. And our options are challenge free and uh, versus man. Uh, we're gonna choose a bunch of random symbols here to take place of our name. Um, I'm going based looking purely off of what they look like to me. And uh, we're gonna go with uh, goldfish, uh, less than sign, and no, not the mutant bagel. Let's go with the deformed pretzel instead. And uh, let's move on. Crazy guy once again yelling at us. This time he's wearing his awesome camo hat and he's uh, much more graphically inclined. Uh, something about uh, for the honor of Japan, you must defeat the bio black bass in his native habitat through the use of topwater lures. Awesome. Dr. House. TP has described described the um, treatment to the bass fever, which is 20 centimeters of black bass five times per day. Uh, get out there and catch them, you lazy prick. Huh. Well, thanks, Dr. House TP. All right, yep. Here's this lake that we're on. Um, I don't know if you can actually move anywhere in the lake because I haven't figured that out. The buttons are just that terrible. Well, the controls in the game are terrible. The only real good thing about this game, I can say, is that the lures actually look pretty, pretty neat. And hey, look, it's some pictures of your equipment, which apparently is very terrible because, well, you'll see. So here's the spot that we uh, start at. Uh, some words saying, go catch the evil black bass. Um, so we equip our favorite lure. And we start the button mashing dance to cast. Um, in this game, casting requires you to press two or three buttons in uh, a certain order to actually release the lure. Um, it's kind of a mishmash of different directions, along with the A, the B, and the R button. Uh, every time you cast, you have to press B. And then uh, hold down A and R and right, I believe. Right, back, or left, depending on which direction you want to toss the lure. Oh, crap. We caught the exploding black bass. Oh, the fun starts. And the fish is apparently pulling away from us. Wonderful. Yeah, see, the um, game doesn't really give you any like physical hints that you're not pulling the fish towards you. Most other fishing games, it's just a combination of A and B, and maybe sometimes R in a direction. Um, in this game, no matter what buttons you push and what combination, from what I've found, you can't defeat the black bass. It does nothing but pull away from you, and constantly brings up the little warning message. Yeah, too far. I, I, maybe I'll sit down and fiddle with it some more at some point, but I, it's just not worth playing. I mean, you can't really pull, there's no, you know, feedback that tells you, hey, you need to start pulling the fish back with this button, or the fish isn't even moving. I don't know what's going on. Ugh. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, maybe if I, you know, had some sort of guide to tell me what the buttons did at this point in the game, I might actually be able to catch fish, but sadly, no matter what I do, uh, the fishing part of the fishing game is hard as hell and entirely, oh, yep, we've broken the line and guys yell at us. Thank you. That's pretty much the extent of uh, the fishing in this game. You cast, um, you either snag your line, and lose your lure, or sometimes you might actually manage to save it and get it back in the water. Um, otherwise, you dance effectively at the fish 
until maybe they might, you know, stumble into your lure. In which case they will inevitably get away because you can't pull them in due to either your terrible upper body strength or the crappy $5 Walmart fishing line that you bought and fishing reel that is apparently made out of cardboard. Ugh. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm kind of looking into finding some obscure games to toss up here just as a one-off. I mean, I'm not going to come back and play this game anymore. I'm not going to show out another video of me sitting here struggling with this terrible game. Um, but I'm probably going to find a few other games to toss out here and maybe, you know, make fun of them. Maybe find something interesting to play. Um, I know there's a few that I've dug up. There's a, um, Common Rider, I think that's how that's pronounced, uh, pinball game, which is actually pretty fun, and some pachinko games, which I really don't understand, uh, you know, the amount of money that I'm winning or losing or whatever, but, uh, it's kind of an entertaining background to just watch the little metal balls bounce around inside the machine, and hey, maybe you win sometimes. It's kind of like gambling games, if you're not into, uh, you know, the gambling games, you know, not so much poker, but I mean, you need to... Uh, Vegas Stakes for the Super Nintendo was one of them. Those sorts of games where you kind of just do ritual betting and such. And, I mean, you might dig Pachinko. It's colorful. It's kind of like a p pinball machine without, you know, actual skill involved. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I'm still dancing around with these lures. I mean, if the game had some sort of alternate view, it might be more entertaining, it's just, uh, you're, you're literally looking at this, this is all the game offers you, every once in a while the square moves to the middle and the fish is getting close, but otherwise you have no clue whether or not there is a fish nearby, uh, whether you're dancing the lure around properly, and if it's even still looking in your direction, I, it's just, ugh, a mess, a mess of a game. But, I mean, it's fishing, so you can't really fault it too much. It's fishing. It's not really the most in-depth, complicated game type you you are going to catch a fish, or try to, or fall on your ass in this case. Uh, well, I guess he <laughs> mocks your skills as, like, fisherman. Yeah. I... It, it, Take it from me. I mean, if you really want to download this game, um, go go nuts, fish till your heart's content, or uh, not fish, as the case may be. But it it'll take you a while to get the handle of uh, casting and reeling. And then, hey, if you anybody figures out how to actually reel a fish in, by all means, leave comments. I'll I might actually go back and try the game if I figure that much out. But. Anyway, uh, I'm hoping that the uh, stomach disease will lay off me long enough that I can kind of get back into the mix of making little gaming videos. Hopefully I'll, you know, bring something more entertaining to the table next time. Um, I'm still going to try at some point maybe Adventures of Lolo or um, uh, Link's Awakening maybe for the Game Boy. That's one of, that's one of my favorite Game Boy games, so I might give that a try. And, uh, maybe a how-to on Civ 2. Uh, well, it's one of the civilization games that we've been playing lately, and it's pretty easy to pick up on abandonware sites nowadays, so you might give that a try yourself. It's, if you're a big fan of the Civilization series. Oh boy. Fishing. You know, if I had, uh, maybe a case of beer, you know, this game might be entertaining but it would probably be more because I'd be drunk and not because the game isn't good. Yeah. See, not even the fish wanted anything to do with it. Oh well. Um, if you've got any suggestions for games that you might want to see me do, which uh, there's not too many of you guys subscribed at the moment, but eh, anybody has got a good idea, I'd be glad to listen. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm about done with this. Uh, yeah, let's just 
let's just call this good. <laughs> oh, hey, the background music wasn't on. Guess what? Uh, I don't think there is background music. Yeah, I'm done, Mr. Crazy Guy. Uh, have a good one all. I'll catch you next time.